Welcome to City Week, ladies and gentlemen. I am your host, and today I have the pleasure of sitting down. I know most of you know Barbie from Downtown LaGrange Development Authority, but she's here today in a different capacity. She is the Director of Sales for the Truett Vanderbilt. Barbie, it is always a pleasure to sit down Thank with you. Because we could just go on and on and on talking. Of talk. course, yes. <laughs> Absolutely. Well, it's a pleasure to have you on the show today. Thank you. Let me, before we get started in talking about what we're going to actually jump into and talk about, tell us a little bit about the Truett Vanderbilt, oh, if you don't okay. mind. okay. So most people in LaGrange know it as the Moon Sewer House. It's uh -huh. at 304 Broad Street. It's a historic home. It was built in 1914, designed by the architect that designed the Fox Theater before he designed the Fox Theater. Oh, man. And it's um, been, you know, maintained throughout the years. We're 109 years old, and the building is, you know, very solid, very well built. And we've just been open for a year. We had our ribbon cutting this time, this time last year. Wow. Okay. So we've had tons of events there. Um, we also have guest suites on the second floor, and people can spend the night. You can find us on Airbnb, or you can just um, call me directly to book those rooms. So there's four king size suites. Mm -hmm. And it's been really fun. We've had wedding groups there, and the bridal parties will stay, and the girls will get ready at the house, and then they'll have the wedding reception and even the wedding ceremony there. So yeah. it's, it's been a whole lot of fun to see all the different things that people have there. Absolutely. 104 years? 109. 109. I'm yes. sorry. Okay, 109. 1914. Yeah. And you talk about the, the, the Fox Theater. If anybody's been in there, the stairwells, if they yes. get to the Fox, they kind of see yes. uh, the similarities. Yes, yeah. and there's a lot of plaster detail in the mm -hmm. house on the ceilings, and so when you know that that Fox connection is like okay, because yeah. you know most homes don't have those kind of touches. That's right. But there's some just some beautiful architectural features in yeah. the home, and yeah, so absolutely. makes a very elegant setting for weddings or dinners or Christmas parties. And mm -hmm. we're getting ready to decorate it for Christmas. We put up two 12 foot trees in the oh. grand hall, uh -huh. and it's just gorgeous. So. You, you really don't have to do a lot. Just come bring your, you know, food and <laughs> things. But it's already it will be decorated. Be so decorated. We have some parties already on the books, but we do still have some available dates too. Good. good. And you're talking about the homes, and we ain't even talked about the grounds yet because you have a beautiful lawn in the back there. Mm -hmm. You were talking about weddings and various other things, uh, and I'm sure you all utilize that space as well. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. The first wedding we had there, they actually used the front lawn. They set that up with like chapel style seating mm -hmm. and use the um, sidewalk as the center aisle and then they did their vows on the front steps. It was wow. just beautiful. That was May this past year. Okay. So very so, good. Uh, really pretty, really pretty event. Good. And been open for about a year. And, and you know, time goes by. Can you believe we, <laughs> mid November already, looking at Christmas coming yes. up pretty soon? And you're talking about Christmas, I know that last year there was a, f a movie that was filmed here in our community. Yes. Uh, a perfect Christmas pairing. Yes. And I think from that, you are here to talk about something that's kind of a spinoff of this, Absolutely. right? Absolutely, yes. So um, this time last year, we were approached by a production, a film production company, about filming in LaGrange. Mm -hmm. And of course, we were excited to welcome them to do that and worked closely with them to find other locations around town that they could film in. And so the movie is called A Perfect Christmas Pairing. It was filmed mostly at Nutwood uh -huh. Winery um, because the storyline was about a girl that's family owned a winery so it just worked out really well uh -huh. the lichties um, allowed them to film out there um, didn't charge them to film but asked them if they would use the real name of Nutwood winery the okay. real name of LaGrange and also they ended up using Neil and Trish as two, two of the main characters names so <laughs> Um, in exchange for being able to film on their property Very so um, I think that you know it may indirectly help LaGrange in a little bit if, if people yeah. want to come see where the movie was filmed and just come visit some of the scenes, some of the places that were in scenes. So Pretty. they use Seasons Restaurant, uh, Ember Glow, the front of Plum Southern, Pretty Good Books had a couple scenes okay. there too. So it's um, we're so excited because we're going to be screening that movie for the community to see together, all together on December 2nd. It's going to be at Sweetland uh -huh. Amphitheater on the big stage. Wow. And the producer's coming back. Um, DLDA is bringing him back and bringing the lead actor back to just kind of enjoy watching the movie with the community. Yeah. Um, and that'll be about 6.15 on Saturday, December the 2nd. Very good. And it'll be free, so we want everybody to come out and watch. Come, and yes. The fun of it is 
It's in LaGrange, so seeing the scenes and seeing your friends that are that were extras in the movie, <laughs> yeah, um, just spotting those people, those faces that you know, absolutely. And the scene is a whole lot of fun. So very good, and and then, then too that same night or before the movie, um, there's going to be a Christmas market. Yes, yeah, so. If people are fans of those holiday movies that are on TV, um, you know, they always feature like a, a holiday market, That's right. outdoor Christmas market. Yep. People shopping and so and several months ago, um, Kristen Sullivan with the owner of Plum Southern and Nikki Franklin, the owner of Ember Glow and Copper Carrot, we were having a conversation. It's like, we, we just want to have a Christmas market like we see in all those movies. I'm like, okay, well, guess what? If you want to do that, we need to talk to Sweetland and do uh -huh. it at Sweetland because you've got an outdoor ice skating rink already That's built right. in and mm -hmm. that would be the perfect place to have a Christmas market and have that feel. So we're, we're put, have put that together for the community and we're really excited. We worked with um, Brent and Lizzie with Sweetland uh -huh. to make it happen and of course he was very enthusiastic about the idea. So yeah. um, it's going to be on December 2nd and 3rd at Sweetland Amphitheater, um, the, the vendors, we've got 30 vendors that are gonna be oh, wow. on the lawn okay. next to the ice skating rink. And we hope everybody will come out and, and finish their Christmas shopping or start their Christmas shopping. There you go. And just enjoy you know, being outdoors and seeing the ice skating or and then come to the movie Saturday That's right. night. That's almost sound like another movie in the I making. Know, day, I you know, know I know. I'm think thinking when Dave Hickey's yeah. there, he when maybe he sees that, right? to film some of that. Yeah, <laughs> that atmosphere, it is gonna be um, really something special, I think. Yes, okay, so you have 30 vendors that will be there uh, from our downtown local merchants and various items. Yes, and some of, the, okay. some of them are local makers. We've got jewelry makers, we've got a lady that does hats, we've got wow. sweet treats, we'll have a guy that does rocking chairs, Okay. people that do wood crafts, so you can come get like good cutting boards and things like that for, oh, for yeah, Christmas for the gifts. Christmas time. Yeah, yeah, so absolutely. Um, we've, we've carefully curated the vendor so we don't have duplications. Okay. So okay. like each, you know, we don't, we're not gonna have multiple people selling the, the same, same thing. thing. Well, that's so always we cool. want it to be very special but, mm -hmm, very and Anyway, we're excited. The vendors are really excited. And yeah, and that's going to be December 2nd and mm -hmm. 3rd mm -hmm. from uh, 12 to 6. 12 to 6, okay. yes. Now, I know that the, the skating is going to be taking place there, yes. and then the market is going to yes. be taking place. And I think there's a cover charge for the market yes. part of it itself. Yes, so Correct. we're asking for a $5 admission for adults. If, if children come with the adults, then their admission is free. Okay. And then if anybody is skating, they will get a, a voucher to be able to come into the market for free, too. Okay. So if they're paying for skates, they'll they'll have free admittance into the market too okay, so okay. and then the the money that we um, generate through those the missions is actually going to benefit CASA the children that are in okay. the care of CASA mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, we wanted to add to a little Christmas fund for them so if there's anything that those children need, oh, you know, wow. they'll they'll have some funds that they could buy gifts or buy food or whatever they very, might need yeah, during, the, during the Christmas season. That's a very so. good cause, and I know Divine yes. Shanks there does a wonderful job. She, she is such a lovely yeah, lady. Been yeah. there for a number of years, yes. and she worked to me trying to get me to be an advocate for yes. the kids. I well, know that they tremendously need they, individuals. They need, they need good people, yeah. and it's just wonderful that there's people that will be there for those children. That's so right. mm -hmm. they need Absolutely. they need those you know need a responsible adult that'll care for them. That's so. right. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. So this is exciting. You know the the, the you got the market uh, Christmas market. You got the sweet land on ice. Yes. And again, I'm just sitting in my head. I'm like, okay, the director sees all this interaction. I know and he'll be back. He'll hopefully. be back. Yeah. That's right. So and we want everybody to come out. Dave Hickey was here for weeks and weeks and weeks. They actually mm -hmm. did two or three movies in Lagrange while okay. they were here. Uh -huh. So this was like the movie that brought them here. But um, he fell in love with, with Lagrange. And so I think he made a lot of friends while he was here, and Very he's good. looking forward to coming back and and checking in with all of the friends that he made when he Very was here good. last year. And of course, we would love for him to come back and do some more yeah. production here. Absolutely. So. And then the thing about you said too, the movie itself, uh, and I'm looking forward to. It. I just want to let everybody know I'm looking forward to seeing the movie myself because I'm not seeing it yet. But it will be free at the amphitheater. Yes. Uh, yeah. I guess people can can they bring like hot yeah. chocolate? I or I or would say bring your blanket if it's okay. chilly. You know, mm -hmm. bring blanket and snuggle up and bring your hot chocolate okay. or um, okay. they'll be selling concessions at the
the market. So mm -hmm. hopefully you could, you know, if you didn't bring it, you could buy it and take okay. it down. But okay. just, I would just encourage everybody to make a fun night of it, get their friends and come and watch the movie. Mm -hmm. and it'd mm -hmm. be, you know, I, I watched it on a small screen, so I can't wait to see it on a big screen. Yeah. Because yeah. it was really fun to see the scenes in LaGrange that we recognized and um, and LaGrange is very photogenic. It, it, <laughs> it makes a very nice backdrop for movies and it can look like a lot of different places, mm -hmm. but um, they really did a good job with that. Well, I knew a few people that were uh, plug to be in Ex the movie. Uh -huh. Yeah, extras and various Were you things. not in some of the scenes? You know what? They, I, I, I was not in any of the scenes okay. that I can think you should of. should have been. No, I should have yeah. been, right? I was in one, but I, I don't think I made the cut. I think I was on the edge. <laughs> So anyway, so you know, and that's going to be fun the, to watch. I'm about to say that's going to be the exciting part because people, the extras, they're going to be looking for themselves yes. and say, "Oh, there it goes, there it yes. goes." Yeah, yeah. and some you'll recognize, or some of them were very prominently featured, you know, in the yeah. scene. So it's not like it's just the back of their head; you mm, see their good, whole good. face. So well, I think people really enjoy being a part of the process. Mm -hmm. It's just uh, kind of interesting to observe. Yeah, all the all the things that go into making a production. Absolutely, so people. Ha I think they had a lot of fun. Being a part of it. Good, good. Mm -hmm. And all that has now led over to the Christmas market yes. that's going to be taking place on yes. December 2nd and the 3rd up at Sweetland on yes. Ice there. So it's great. Yeah, and again, the proceeds of $5 mm -hmm. uh, that was going to go to benefit CASA. So, um, what do you want people to do, Barbie? So you can purchase your admission ticket online. Okay. You mm -hmm. can, they'll scan your ticket when you um, come in, or you will be able to purchase the tickets at the box office. Okay. And we just ask everybody if we'll just bring exact change. That'll make it go faster, you know. So, okay. Yeah. Um, Anyway, and I think that's about it. That's but, it. Yeah, but please come on out. Yeah, should be an awesome yes. night. It'll be a couple of weeks after the Christmas parade. It's actually, so it's, yeah, well, yeah. it's actually yeah. the week, like, the Christmas parade is Thursday, yep. and, and it's that Saturday, Saturday and Sunday, so it's kind go. of LaGrange's kickoff of the Christmas right. season all in one. All in one. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Yep. Well, we know, once again, that people will come out, and, you know, for those that were in the movie, we're going to come out and be looking for themselves. Those that want to come out and get that early Christmas shopping done and over with, with 30 vendors, I'm sure they'll find something oh, yes. for yeah. someone they'll and be, for everyone. Yes. You'll, find, you'll find those gifts that you're needing. That's right. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Anything you get me, Barbara. I'll, okay. I'll, okay. I just want to put that out there. Scarf, there yes. we go. Yes. Absolutely. Well, Barbie, again, it's a pleasure always to sit down Thank with you. you bring Alpha. so much energy to the set and to uh, let everybody know about the Christmas market that will be taking place in down, well, that Sweet Land Sweet on Land Ice. On ice. Oh, yes. Sweet Land in on Ice. Yes. In downtown LaGrange. In downtown yes. LaGrange. So please come. Bring your friends. It'll, it'll be a really fun weekend. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, thank you for being my guest once again. Okay. Thank you for having me. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, stay tuned for more City Week coming up in just a moment. Welcome back City Week, ladies and gentlemen. Now I'm being joined by Lynn Holly from Visit LaGrange to tell us all about everything that'll be taking place in and around our city of LaGrange around these festive holiday season. Lynn, what do you got on your list for us today? Good morning, I'm Lynn Holly from Visit LaGrange. Today we're going to be talking about some of the events that will be happening in and around our community during the week of November 27th through December 4th. Let's get started. Thursday, November 30th at 6 p.m., the 2023 Christmas Parade Light Up LaGrange in downtown LaGrange. The annual Christmas Parade is the largest holiday event in Troop County. Weaving throughout downtown LaGrange, the Christmas Parade is the official beginning of the Christmas season in our community. The theme of the parade this year is Light Up LaGrange. Saturday, December 2nd, beginning at 8 a.m., leaving LaGrange better than we found it litter cleanup at St. Mark's Episcopal Church. The City of LaGrange will be hosting its Leaving LaGrange Better Than We Found It litter cleanup from 8 a.m. until 10 a.m. in the parking lot of St. Mark's Episcopal Church, located at 207 North Greenwood Street in LaGrange. Our community partner is St. Mark's Episcopal Church. The public is welcome to participate. All supplies will be provided. Saturday, December 2nd at 2.30 p.m., they were jumping, juking to the West Georgia Blues with John Tavius Willis at Pure Life House of Music. Pure Life House of Music, in collaboration with Terminus Blues Dance Atlanta brings you a day of music and social dancing featuring John Tavius Willis and a workshop with Damon and Kelsey Stone. Limited quantities of tickets available. 
Tickets can be purchased at purelifelagrange.com. For more information about blues dancing, visit us at www.terminusbluesdance.com. Saturday, December 2nd, starting at 12 p.m., Santa's Helpers Unleash Toy Drive at Wild Leap LaGrange. Join us for a heartwarming holiday event, Santa's Helpers Unleash Toy Drive. This festive gathering is all about spreading joy and making a difference in the lives of children during the holiday season. What to bring? Bring a new, unwrapped toy and help fill Santa's sleigh. Toys will be distributed to children in need with the help of the LaGrange Police Department. Get ready for a jolly good time with our VIP guests, Santa Claus and the Grinch. They're here to sprinkle holiday cheer from 1 until 3 p.m., all set to mingle and strike a pose for some picture-perfect moments. Festivities include ugly Christmas sweater contests, boozy hot chocolate, specialty cocktails and slushies, holiday music. Don't miss this opportunity to celebrate the holiday spirit and to make a meaningful impact. Let's fill every stocking and heart with joy. Starting Saturday, December 2nd, and running through December 3rd, beginning at 12 p.m. and ending at 6 p.m., a perfect Christmas market at Sweetland Amphitheater. Join us for a perfect Christmas market at Sweetland Amphitheater. This two-day market will boast a wide variety of vendors, showcasing many talented artisans and small business owners, so that you can shop local for your Christmas list this year. A general admission ticket to the Christmas market is $5 per adult, and children accompanying an adult may enter the Christmas market for free. Proceeds will be used to provide a Christmas fund for children under care of CASA, Court Appointed Special Advocates. Don't forget to bring the whole family because Sweetland on Ice will be up and running. Come shop and skate the day away with us December 2nd and December 3rd from 12 p.m. until 6 p.m. We are so excited for this event. We are pleased to announce that on December 2nd, we will be screening A Perfect Christmas Pairing, the movie filmed in LaGrange in 2022 and featuring local scenery and citizens as background characters. The movie will be shown at Sweetland Amphitheater on the big screen at 615. Come and meet Dave Hickey, the producer, and Chris Connell the leading male actor before the movie is shown. Free admission to the movie. Bring your blankets and enjoy the show under the stars at Sweetland. So Alton, these are just a few of the events that will be happening in and around LaGrange during the week of November 27th through December 4th. We hope everybody will get out, enjoy some fun, and as always, stay safe. <laughs> Lynn, I want to thank you for that wonderful list of things that will be taking place, and I also want to wish you a very happy Thanksgiving as well. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining us City Week this week. My guests have been from the Truett Vanderbilt. I had on the Director of Sales, Barbie Watts. You've seen her before from DLDA. She's talked about the upcoming Christmas market that will be taking place at Sweetland on Ice up at the amphitheater and also the movie that will be showing a perfect Christmas pairing. So by all means, ladies and gentlemen, having got your Christmas shopping done, there'll be over 30 vendors that I'm sure you find something for that special person on your list. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope that you enjoyed that interview. interview. And as always, I want to invite you back for more of City League.